Hello, um, welcome to um, the second video uh, on the basics of the statistics. I'm Omar Amin Mohammed from the Department of Biological Sciences, Bochy State University. In our previous video, we defined the term by statistics as um, the science and art of compilation and a presentation and a logical uh, interpretation after analyzing it of um, biomedical data uh, or biological data, most of which are influenced by uh, multiplicity of factors. Now, the statistics basically deals with a particular uh, phenomenon which is called data. And um, data is um, a very, very important phenomenon which is basically called uh, a raw fact or anything that is an information from figures. And um, we have various types of data. And um, this could be a, a variable or a constant. When you source your data from an experiment, it is called a variable. When you source your data from um, from records is called a constant. So now we are going to uh, talk more on about variable because it's more problematic in the sense that it has various sources. Now a variable is a characteristic that takes on different value in um, different persons, places or things. And um, this means that a heart rate is basically a variable. At the height of an adult male is a variable, um, a sheet mass of um, millets is a variable, a leaf area index of a cowpea variety is a variable, uh, the yield in kg per hectare of a particular crop is a variable, the pH level of um, a sample of water or soil sample is a variable, blood glucose level is a variable, even um, blood cholesterol level is also a variable. So and, um, this variable has various types. Variable could be quantitative, or it could be qualitative. It is quantitative if you can actually count it or you can measure it. It is qualitative if you can rank it or you can uh, basically look at the severity of it. So um, let's look at them individually. Now, this is a quantitative variable, quantitative variable which is divided into two. It is divided into the quantitative discrete and quantitative continuous. Quantitative um, discrete is also known as uh, quantitative discontinuous. This is something you cannot measure, it's something you can count. When you're dealing with a variable of the data of a variable that you can count, like um, number of seeds, uh, number of heartbeats, number of animals, number of um, parasites, when you're counting, basically this is quantitative discrete. But when you are Dealing with something like a quantitative continuous, it means you can only measure it. You can count it, but you can measure it, which means that you might have decimal places in your results. And this includes um, height, width, uh, cholesterol level, and of course, um, the measurement of kg per hectare, um, measurement of pH level, and what have you. These are all quantitative uh, continuous. Now, we also have a uh, what's called the qualitative variable, which is divided into, it can be mostly divided into two, which is um, the qualitative nominal and the quantitative ordinal. By, um, in, depends on um, how you classify it. You can include um, the quantitative ratio skill. The quantitative nominal is basically something that you can classify, classificatory, right? Now, this includes uh, like gender. Now, you can classify gender into two, like male and female. You can classify marital status into two, married single. You can classify the blood group, basically A, B, A, B, and O. Or you can even classify the race. A uh, person can be a, 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 a Caucasian, it can be an, he can be an Asian or a black. Now, qualitative um, ordinal deals with uh, ranking, severity skill, right? Like now, you can say good, uh, better, best. Right? And you can see this is the result is poor, it could be, be fair, it could be good. While then we also have um, the quantitative ratio skill, where you are dealing with the ratio of a particular measurement. Like a typical example in entomology, they might uh, be dealing with um, the head relative to the body size of a um, particular organism. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to.